Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome back to another Destiny video. It is Tuesday, it is reset day, which of course means I'm back to tell you guys what is new in the world of Destiny this week. So if you guys do enjoy this, you do find it helpful, then as always, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions, but let's get started. So kicking things off with your Nightfall this week, you have the Undying Mind Strike. Your modifiers are Specialist, where special weapon damage is favoured. Fresh Troops, where some enemy squads have been fortified with additional reinforcements. Match game, where enemy shields are resistant to all unmatched elemental damage. And airborne, where players deal more damage whilst in the air. So no burn to make things quicker, but alas, that is your nightfall. And while on the topic of strikes, don't forget to hit up the Siva Crisis Heroic Strike playlist, because the first one of those will yield a Radiant Treasure this week, so you can of course use that to get one of your ornaments. And then if you do three of those, that is a total of 30 legendary marks. And your modifiers on that playlist this week are Solar Burn, Small Arms, and Chaff, so... Sullivan should make things pretty nice to blitz your way through. Then moving on from there, don't forget to visit the level 41 version of the Prison of Elders if you are still in search of Sterling Treasure, because that's now your only source of that. And on the topic of Prison of Elders, your challenge of the Elders this week has the modifiers Brawler and Fresh Troops, so Guardian melee damage is greatly increased, and enemy squads have been fortified with additional reinforcements, and your bonuses are precision kills this week, so aim for the head or the stomach if you're fighting Vex. And your bosses are round one, Nordosk, the servant of Oryx, who is Cabal. Round two, the Overmind Minotaur, obviously Vex. And round three is the Seditious Mind, also a Vex boss. So, those are your activities. Then if we go and visit some of the vendors, first up, Tira Khan this week. Of course, she once again has another three artifacts available, a couple of ones we've seen before. So this week, she has the Memory of Yolda, which is no sprint cooldown. Memory of Silmar, which is the resistance to damage over time effects, so that might be useful in the Crucible if you're kind of having trouble with Thorn. Not that it's really an issue these days, but either way, that is your second one. And the last one is Memory of Scory, which is your Super Recharges Allies. If you haven't got that one, that one is a very, very good one to have. We use that a lot in the raid, so of all those three, if you guys haven't got one, obviously grab the one you're missing for your record book. But if there are more than one you haven't got and you're looking for a kind of option, then Scory is a very good choice. Of course, if we then jump over and take a visit to Shiro 4, then he of course has his usual set of weekly bounties. Make sure you complete these if you still haven't got Thorn. I personally haven't myself. The bounty hasn't shown up yet, but handing these in has a chance to trigger that bounty. And he also has the Mantle of Perun, Silivar's Iron Sash, and Felwinter's Iron Bond this week. Then taking a stop at the tower, visiting Lord Shax. This is of course where you can go to get your weekly Crucible Bounty. This is the one that's available this week. And of course, if you complete that, that's a chance at Nightfall tier rewards. So another exotic. And of course, exotics are one of the things you might want to use to try and get yourself above 385 in preparation for hard mode. Then visiting the Reef, speaking to Petrovenge. You can of course complete her bounties to raise her reputation and her packages can still be of use to you. And of course, whilst in the Reef, don't forget to visit Barracks, because if you're going to be going into the Prison of Elders in any capacity, then it's probably worth bringing these with you. And that's pretty much it. That is your week in Destiny. Those are the most noteworthy, light, relevant activities. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. As always, if you did, then a like would be super appreciated. Any questions, drop them down below. But thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.